Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is uh, George and it's been it's been over a year now since I haven't uploaded a video. The reason behind it is because I've been studying uh, to become a Java developer. I started in May 2024 and now I've recently just been employed. So now I feel I feel like it's the the right time to uh, jump back into YouTube, which for me, I treat as a, as a hobby. But going forward, my plans uh, are going to change. Uh, I'm going to go from recording myself playing video games and going to take advantage of my knowledge uh, in, in programming uh, to try and make my own game. So I'm going to create a series of devlogs starting today. Uh, this week with week zero and uh, yeah every Sunday I'm going to upload a video of my progress uh, each week mainly for myself I'm gonna try and improve my skills and um, hopefully hopefully it's entertaining and if you want to join me on my series and on my journey you're very welcome to uh, to follow along like I said, every Sunday, I'm going to try and upload a video. So yeah, let's get into today's video with um, week zero, my first steps into Unity. So this week, uh, what I did is um, I got Unity uh, up, and, up and running uh, with the latest version, uh, version 6.2, I think. Got it up and running, opened my first uh, 2D project, uh, and I got familiar with the with the different uh, like parts of the of the program, uh, like you know, the hierarchy, the scene inspector, and the project and everything. So I was just getting getting used to to all the buttons and and everything. I even watched a small tutorial. Well, it was quite long actually, it was about 40 minutes. I'll link it in the description if I can uh, find it. But just to get the basics up and running. Uh, so I wasn't going in completely blind. So I had some sort of guidance. Uh, after that, I went uh, into Obsidian, which is a uh, note taking app. And I just uh, jotted down some questions like what type of game I wanted. And after some thought, I, uh, I didn't end up. I didn't really reply to the questions, but uh, I ended up thinking about uh, a game that I played as a child. It was a flash game. Uh, it's a quite famous game. I'll uh, show an image if I can find one of it. It's basically a tower defense type game where the enemies come in a straight line from the ba from the enemy base, and you have to defend your base with units or with um, guns on the tower. So you'll later see how I implemented it. So then after that, I was just getting used to using rigid body and the like physics in Unity with a red ball and the, and the floor, as you can see here with the colliders and the rigid body. Uh, and then I got a bit more advanced and decided to uh, make a bit more of a, a scene. And then I built myself a, a nice looking square house. Please don't laugh at my... Uh, my drawing abilities there <laughs> I was just setting up things as quickly as possible to get just to test things out you know and get used to uh, uh, to get things test things out and get things done so yeah there's my lovely looking house after that I uh, created an enemy uh, object uh, again don't please don't laugh at my uh, red headed enemy he's uh, he doesn't look very uh, enemy ish it's, it looks quite friendly actually but anyway but basically what I wanted to do is uh, set him up so he would move towards the left so after after setting up the um, the collider uh, around his body and um, and the, I set the colliders on the on the building as well after that I, I went on to write my first C sharp script uh, for the game uh, which is basically it enables the the enemy uh, object to move to move to left so basically towards the the building as you can see here he starts moving very slowly but unfortunately he doesn't 
hit the house. So my collider was um, not working. So after some some tests, some uh, I went back and looked at the code, and that was all fine. But it was something to do with the with the colliders; they weren't working properly. Um, so after fixing that, I uh, pressed play again, and he hit the house, which was what I intended originally. Uh, then after that, I gave the building um, some HP, and I just logged it in the <laughs> in the console log, except for obviously I didn't set any any boundaries, so it just went on uh, infinitely and did infinite damage. Uh, so what I wanted to do after that was obviously change it up, uh, give it a maximum HP of was it 10 or 100? I can't remember. Uh, but basically, when it hits zero I wanted it to to stop so at least I got the speed speed down um, but as you can see later on I implemented uh, where if it hits zero it will uh, destroy the building and it gets through and the, the yeah then and then later on I implemented a, a command where it says game over. After that, again, I started on Wednesday, so I only had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to do these uh, things. Obviously, I wasn't coding it all day or anything. I wasn't doing it all day. I just did it a couple of hours each day. The last thing I did was um, give the house a gun to make make it so um, it would shoot at the enemy and uh, it would automatically track the enemy, except for this is where things started to get a bit more complicated for me um, especially like scripting wise uh, I made a a bullet and a barrel and a gun behavior blah 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 but uh, in the end I um, I couldn't get it to work properly it would shoot um, but it wouldn't correctly um, target the it wouldn't hit the, the player basically it would like bug out so this is where I left it anyway so this will be something that I fix uh, next week. So basically, uh, this is all I did uh, this week was just to get for myself familiar with Unity and the just the game engine in general. Uh, in the future, in so next week, I will try and make myself some uh, sprites. I'm going to be using pixel art, which is uh, the more the most beginner friendly uh, graphics to choose and I will be using I think Affinity Designer for that and yeah so uh, I will leave a checklist on the screen because uh, when I finish recording this I it's something I forgot to uh, do I'll uh, write a checklist for next week to set myself some goals and uh, yeah I hope you all enjoyed my mini start to the unity and um, yeah leave me some comments in below if you've got any any suggestions if you've got experience in unity because i i literally have i was struggling i read some of the documentation on the classes to use like transform and and that but i've still got a long way to go until i learn how everything works and how the objects connect to each other and all that i still uh <laughs> it's still um I'm still very new to all this, so I can uh, do everything fine in Java and, and Spring Spring Boot, but Unity and C Sharp, it's a uh, different, bit of a different world this than uh, web development. So, so yeah, leave me a like uh, if you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you uh, if you want to follow along and uh, catch me uh, next in next video uh, the next video on on Sunday. Have a nice day, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.